crochet friends welcome back working on our nativity scene and this is the manger this is round three today so we have 32 stitches on our work I've placed my marker just so I know where my beginning is we're gonna start with a chain one and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for three and four nice and easy right you're going to enter each stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two okay so we're going to do this all the way around for rounds three and four we cannot forget that chain one at the beginning right because otherwise our work will not sit the way we want it to so hopefully everyone's doing okay with this. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I can try and help you out. Um, this is the manger part. This is where baby Jesus is gonna lay. For the next video, we will need a little bit of yellow or some kind of yarn that looks like straw. Whatever color you'd like to be the straw inside the manger. Okay, so we'll need that and i've listed down below in the description all the little pieces of things you'll need um, like your peg dolls and things like that if you do not want to purchase peg dolls i mean you can make this project however you'd like but you could also just use a dowel cut to proper lengths um, because that would serve the same purpose it would look nice and rustic and beautiful so you know you do you don't feel like you have to run out and try to find these um, mine actually my my youngest boy he's bless him he is so good he has a 3d printer and it has become quite the hobby for him he loves it he actually printed out the little peg dolls for me and my star that i'm going to use on the project so i'm super excited about them he printed them with a white filament and i'm actually spray painting them kind of like a nutmeg light tan kind of color just to make them look you know similar to the wood ones but you don't have to do that i mean i could have probably even left them white but i'm super excited to use those partly because he made them um, and it was just so sweet and kind and I appreciate that help um, but it's just gonna it's gonna look so cute so I'm very excited about that so they do sell them um, at craft stores online if you're looking for them but like I said you could just use a cut off piece of dowel even a really thick branch if you want to go really rustic um, it's just to simulate the person inside the clothing right um, so you do you you make it the way that you would like it to be and that this is you know your work of art so you're gonna make it the way you like um, but I am almost at the end here of three so I'm just doing my single crochets and just trucking along here and then we're gonna start four at the end here remember we did two in each one so they're a little tight because we have this nice small hook and we have this thin yarn so just take your time it's okay um actually i think that was my chain yep that's my chain i just didn't want to didn't want to sit there and go right into it so now we are on four so we're going to slip stitch first slip stitch here don't go in your chain go in the first single crochet yarn over and pull through pull through again okay there you go now put your marker up that's the end of three this is the start of four we're gonna yarn over and pull through for our chain chain one and now single crochet around again so this is just building up the base of the manger um, for, for the project so it's just making it a little bit higher but these are all single crochets see how it's kind of going up a little bit there cute I like it I hope you do too. I think this is a fun project. I'm still finding pieces of jute all over my clothing. Um, <laughs> that stuff is messy. <laughs> it's fun, but it is messy. So I'll be vacuuming a little bit with that, but it's all good. Alrighty, keep going to the end of four here with these single crochets. Here we go. Okay, that's my chain there at the end. So I'm gonna go into my first stitch here. Try to yarn over and pull through and pull through again for that slip stitch, okay? All right, that is the end of 
four, so that was three and four today. Tomorrow when we meet up, it'll be round five. Yes, round five and the straw. Sorry, I was having a little um, lapse there. <laughs> so we'll see you next time for round five and doing the straw. So make sure you have your straw ready to go, whatever color you choose for that. We'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.